map three the last four times they've played it. And let's see, right out of the gates, gonna get aggressive on the CT pistol. Three players in stairs, gonna cover towards blue door, and Vitality's coming right at him. That's gonna be a brawl in that tight corridor with three defenders. Maybe could be a Kendar if he gets a little bit closer, but he's quite far away right now. And you're right, this could be an absolute disaster. If you don't come through here for Vitality, the round is over. That's a good start, though. Nav's throwing up as well, but he's gonna get caught by Apex, and Yakinda was too far away. They handled it absolutely perfectly. Sphinx gonna be taking down Yakinda out on long, and Nitro now all on his own. Yeah, that's wonderful teamwork for Vitality, just covering all the corners, covering all the follow-up peeps. Nitro's gonna get shut down as well. Zywoo with a double kill. Stunning start to the map for Vitality. One to nothing with a pistol. That's great, but I guarantee you, if you could rewind time a little bit and have the entry, the first one go the way of Liquid, it's possible that the whole dynamic in the connector there is completely different. Sure, that, I mean that, that you're exactly right. That could be a complete, that could be a completely different situation. Unfortunately for them, not the case at the moment. But let's see how they respond. They do buy up into the second round. Deagles are picked up on Elise Nitro and Yakinder. OC with his scout and Naf with the UMP. It's an interesting choice in that UMP, but yeah, I mean, we've seen stranger things, I suppose. He's playing around pretty close up down in connector. Jakinda to open up the round. He tried to get that flick, but he's already defeated Saibu. That's a pretty decent start right here in the second round. See if they can do it. Actually, Naf, he's in the right position. Straight headshot, and he nearly brings down Mate. He's gone top. That could have been the end of the round for Vitality, but they're still fighting for it, although Elige. Nice, he tracked him. He actually just shot him while he was running. It looked incredible. And that was the only shot he had. He was traded off by Sphinx immediately. If he doesn't hit that headshot, then his position goes to waste. Both defenders at the A bomb site. Nitro gonna start pushing up. He'll be able to find information, but Vitality's gonna slow this down. They're gonna wait patiently, and perhaps they, they could just camp out and hit the pause button where they are and see if anyone from Liquid comes to investigate and comes to try and pick up rifles. They certainly have that time right now. 50 seconds with the bomb around the birthday party. Liquid are, you know, they're leaning heavily on this A side. No one obviously down at B right now. So they're, they're kind of hoping that even if someone goes B, maybe Nitro will be close enough by that he can hear it and then they can start to rotate accordingly. And now they're running a bit, a little bit low on time and that's a problem because now they can't sneak up to the bomb side. They have to run like they're doing now. And Nitro, he's calling it in. He's hearing it. OC's back there with a the scout. Oh, oh but no. they missed both opportunities. That is a miracle. Yeah, I, if they get the first one, the scout tag comes in. If Nitro's able to clean up that first one with the deal with the low HP, he's got another half HP player that he can handle. So Vitality, they avert disaster and get by that just barely. Two to nothing. That is very scary to run into, but well done. This is this is a huge match for Team Liquid, would you consider the fact that, remember, they haven't been in a LAN final since the end of 2019 in Bahrain, the Blast World Finals of 2019. They haven't won an event on LAN since IEM Chicago 2019, right at the tail end of the Intel Grand Slam run, right, yeah. at, right after it occurred. It's been a very long time, not only for Team Liquid, for all of North America to be able to cheer for a team to be in the final of a big event like this. That is a very, very good point. They have someone to cheer for tonight. Three HE has been picked up by Liquid, so, you know, a slight chance here to maybe blow somebody up if they get the right opportunity. Otherwise, it'll be the next round where we can really start to see a little bit of interesting stuff coming out. Deagle and Yakinda out on long there, hoping against, to do something. Against the Duelies. Yeah. pre has got the cowboy guns. He's fulfilling the childhood fantasy, and he's going to get a kill. Opening frag as Yakinder goes down. Those Julies could just get aggressive and start to investigate towards the A bomb site. Low risk, high reward, because he would find that the A bomb site is clear. Team Liquid's stack towards the B bomb setting is starting to shift. They do have three HE grenades. They do have a nade stack set up ready to go. With the Duelies on one side, a MAC-10 over towards the B bomb site. Plenty of opportunities for Vitality to clear and probe without risking a whole lot. They want to blow up the bomb planter, which will not change the outcome of the round, but it'll be funny. And that's worth a lot too. Oh, Dupree, don't. Why are you stopping it? Oh, 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 oh. One click takes away Elige. He's ruining all the fun. I've at least had some fireworks. Well, he's having some fun himself at the very least. He's going to tuck himself into a corner as well and not push forward, valuing the armor. And also, three players relatively dinged up at around. Oh, there's another one for Dupree. Filthy shot. Go get yourself an ace. Go get yourself. Have you had a dually ace ever? I was I was just running through that in my mind, and oh, I don't think, I mean, my mind doesn't work yes. that well, but <laughs> oh, he almost had it. That's amazing. Great mechanics with the duallys. Four kills. Someone, someone, someone check that stat. Dually aces. 
and pro play. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, somewhere, Someone's someone has. has got one somewhere. But I think that's what Dupree's saying right there. He's just like, yeah, one. Wanted one more. 3-0. Guns come out. Op in the hands of OC right out of the gate. Naf has the only kit for Team Liquid's defense into this fourth round. And Spink still has the MAC-10. Well, this is where it counts. OC was crazy on that last map with the AWP. He hit so many cool shots. Now, remember what Maui said in the pregame? He said every time OC starts at Flowers, yes. they win the round. He's over there at the moment. Let's see. This is going to be a B defense that needs to hold strong, though. Sphinx is forced back. And good damage done to Dupree as well, down to 33 health. And OC in that position. As Maui outlined, I'm very comfortable, obviously, not with just the fights that can be presented to him, but with the rotations after the fact. He's not getting any action his way quite yet. Especially if they feel comfortable sending the the second player over there away, if they could if they could say they can okay you go down connector or you fall back through the A bomb side I'm I'm gonna find out here it's all right you know I, I can play this on my own. Now this wasn't the worst outcome for Vitality probing through Monster to start with because they they forced a lot of counter utility out of Team Liquid they, when they apply that pressure and that, that's why they're super happy to just fall back and kind of reset things. All right, OC's gonna get some attention on him now. Jump spotting for the moment. I don't think he spotted anything, but he is backing away. The Akinders kept space towards the front of bathrooms. They still have some nades left on that Vitality side, unlike Liquid that are running a little bit more low, but they have enough for basically one good execute in here. But look how much ground Vitality still have to clear out in bathrooms, and time's at 35 seconds. Yeah, they're gonna run into Yukinda first, right around the corner, and Megus not peeking for it. You could tell his aim or his mind was somewhere else in that fight. Oh, see, I don't think he spot them out long. He might have if he actually, yeah, he's gonna go all the way back. They still have a smoke on OC. That's important because there might be a Molotov landing right on top of this truck in just a second. The kid not pushing forward, trying to do something. There's the Molotov, and he puts it out. Some quick work coming out from OC. Spinks in the meantime is taking down the Akinda and almost OC is dropped from that aggressive peak from Apex. But he will get the revenge kill on him. Three versus three now in the afterplant. Eight coming up. It's Nitro on a bit of a flank. Well, before they even get to it, Naf is already down. Simon with a good shot. Double kill for him in the round. Nitro and Elige trying to see if they can crunch it, but they had better be quick about it. And Spinks, he goes down. That's a start that pulls some of the attention away. And now it's Elige. Just sneaking out. He's on his own. Nitro going down. He'd love to find somebody, but it's Saiwu side swiping him. Didn't even get touched in the round, but he did get the triple. And Vitality up 4-0. Oh. Yeah, and Zaiwu even ignores the AWP on the ground by truck as well. He just says, screw it. I don't need to pick that up. All things are going well. We want to keep the versatility of the AK-47 for the moment. And you're exactly right. Beautiful start. A lot of conversation, obviously, of how do you bounce back from such a devastating triple overtime loss on Mirage on the previous map. And Maui putting a lot of faith in the in the mindset of champions. And obviously, with guys like Apex, who's a major champion, Magus can Dupree as well and Sonic behind them. Plenty of opportunity. But this is this is a good way to actually, actually show it off inside the server is to get out to a hot start. That's a very cool flashbang. And with this M4 being the only rifle that they have, that would have been huge if they could have flashed their way into the early kill. But it goes the other way. <laughs> is wrecking them over on that side instead. So it's just gonna be a two versus five. Yeah, I mean, uh, Mario also with, they ended up talking a little bit about in-game leaders, you know, the pressure that's on. Apex obviously much experience at this point in time. I was reminiscing about his his own days as an in-game leader, lacking all respect. <laughs> I don't know how that's different from today, but. Yeah, fair. I think too, I mean, Apex, not just the experience he's gathered, but even on Mirage, they had some very, very cool creative calls and adjustments on their T side of Mirage to keep them alive in that game a number of times that came out of Apex. Zaiwu's gonna have a quad kill in the round. He's up to nine kills in this so far. Dupree's at six. Very hot start for Vitality. That's gonna make Zonic happy, although not comfortable. Hope for the best. Five nothing. Deep utility. Zaiwu's gonna put out the Molotov. Nade to blow open the door as well. Magisk is gonna swing past it. Another opening kill for Yakinder. Almost gets a second to free down very low. And some covering spam coming out from Apex. Adjusted for Moss, that is a great output. I didn't expect anything like that. And he's, again, the confidence is just the key when you're talking about how Yakinder likes to play it. He hears them running. He knows there's gonna be more than one. He can hear the footsteps. He's like, I'm gonna step into this fight anyway and just try and see if I can beat all of them with the Famas. And he almost did. So Zaiwu, as you can see, has swept over, to, switched over to the AWP instead of the AK-47. He ignored the op, knowing they were going into a low econ round. Now that he's got it, however, he's been so effective with the AK, he's going to have to be a little bit more passive and supportive while his teammates get the entries. That's exactly what Spinks was brought into the team for. 
Oh, trying to get that little jump on the arc of the hallway just to see if they can, you can, on the tunnel, you can sort of offset your position just a little bit. And they do get the right entry that they needed here. Two versus three at about 45 seconds. It's Naf and OC left alive to try and get that first round on the board for Liquid. Going to be an execute to try and get rid of that top position. So OC will have a choice to make if he wants to sort of jump down into the water and commit to it or go the long way around. And they weren't exactly executing behind it, in fact. They're really taking their time. Readjusting. Gonna come out monster slow. Yes, they are. Naf looking right over. Can't see anybody yet, but this is a great position. A little bit of an off angle. Flash, but he's gonna easily turn around for it. And now the bomb is being attempted. Naf, does he want to risk it? He will, and a huge double is what he gets for it. That is absolutely magnificent. Now it's on Dupree. Low on health from earlier with that AWP. He's gonna flick and get one, but he can't escape. I can't believe it. He's somehow still alive and he smoked it up. And now he's just playing hide and seek. And this is gonna be so stressful for OC. If he misses a shot, he might be dead here. Molotov, there is a kit on the other side, but no smoke. What he's counting every second. He just needs to let it go. There it is. That might be the round. I don't think OC has time for this anymore. He's gonna flick and no scope him. Oh man. He can get it, it now. I think he's, he's got it. He just got it, I think. You might be exactly right. That is so intense. Oh. And it's the first round for Liquid. And OC had the op out the whole time. They didn't have the information that Dupree was brought down low. They didn't have that, or else OC would have been spamming that smoke with the with the pistol. Uh, what a what a genius, what a smart play from Dupree to just hold that Molotov inside the smoke, even having the lineup as he's lost inside of it. Very close affair. That double kill from Naf. How many times is a double kill from Naf gonna save the day for Team Liquid? He bumps into the pillar and still somehow lives, because, obviously because of the EWP, but still, wow. I mean, that's even a tough shot to hit for OC as the smoke clears, and it had to be a hit. That's huge. Not out of it just yet. Money's gonna be low after winning a round with a single player surviving. Decent nade. Been saying this probably plenty of times, so regular viewers might have heard it before, but people sometimes underestimate how much of a difference it makes doing just a little bit of damage like that to even out the difference between the AK and the M4 for the one-taps. So don't always have to get the crushing 46-type damage on a grenade. Sometimes a little bit will do. Smoke is going to act as the door that was blown open to prevent any vision in towards stairs as Magus and Spink work their magic, but it doesn't matter. Hydro's got one anyways. Attempted run boost out on lawn, but there's no one there to find. Much further back, Ikindar, and then behind him, Naf, inside of the A-bomb site. So who's got a flash, though? Has actually used it to help Dupree clear out bathroom. So Ikindar's position, there's no real flashbang to allow Dupree to activate and turn that corner. In fact, there's going to be a counter flash on the Team Liquid side. That would give information over to Dupree. You could see him turn as he heard that flash pop. He's saying one was out long, they just cleared it. Back to the B-bomb site we go. Apex, Zywoo, and Spinks shifting around towards Monster. Dupree coming down the stairs to join up. Look at the clock again, Jason. We're down to 25 seconds. There is still one smoke left on Elige, and saving that one grenade right now could be insane. He's going to put it up towards the barrels, but if he can run in there and hide, they're going to try and Molotov it out. In fact, that Molotov is still going, I think. That's a little bit interesting. Going to be one more in there for Spinks. They really want to make sure that no one's there. MP9 up close, but they're running out of time. Seven seconds on the clock. Apex with a massive double, but then it burns to that Molotov. Nitro's right inside, and that's the only kill they needed. Saiwu goes down, and Liquid pick up a second round just barely. He gave him a knife to the ribs just to let him know it was coming, and then switches to the M4. He's like, okay, <laughs> the knife hits. I know where he is. Keep the crosser here and switch to the M4. Well done. And Vitality, that's actually a very nice hit. Uh, an incredible double kill from Apex inside. So we're back on that AWP, running through a lot of flames. He's all the way down to 42, just, just trying to get this early position, which if someone was pushing on the CT side, probably worth it if he can get the kill, but now he's just kind of waiting for a long time. This is an old school setup as well from Team Liquid. By old school, I mean like it's two years ago when they started using it. Uh, that is old in counter years. Meta changes so fast. Pick that up from the old Madline squad, I believe. OC with the op, looking, looking, spots one leg. is gonna pounce, he should have a double, and indeed he will. At Saiwu, he cleans up, he ran through the Molotov. And that's three for nothing in the favor of Team Liquid in the exchange. Absolutely huge. They're so focused on worrying about OC on that AWP, all of their attention is drawn that way. Saiwu, not afraid, obviously wants to go for the fight, but then Elige comes in with the absolute knockout. Good spot from Nitro. Now he just needs to stay alive. Yeah. Spinks knows he's been spotted. 
They know it's retake, and it doesn't even matter because the bomb's over at Fountain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't I knew it the run. whole time, I swear to God. Well, so congratulations, you've got the B-bomb site, you don't find any kills. I think Sphinx and, and Magisk at this point just need to save the AK-47s and use those in the next round to try and do some damage to the economy when the rest of his teammates are just going to have probably just some pistols. The Counter-Strike equivalent of the door gave my homework, Jason. <laughs> That's a good point. I mean, I've, I, we're at the bomb site, but fortunately. I say pistols, but Dupree has 1,800 in the bank and he's going to get 2,400 from the losing bonus. So he, he, he'll be able to pick up a rifle if they actually want to go for another buy with, with three rifles and two players with armor and pistols, tech nines, deagles, whatever you want. There could actually be a pretty solid buy for Vitality moving into round number nine, but Liquid's coming back into this game with three in a row. And five people surviving means they finally get to have some money built up behind these victories. Yeah, that's a really good point. I mean, because up, up until this round, they really didn't have any money at all to work with, so... Vitality might also be thinking about that. They might be thinking, yeah, even if we're just a little bit close to a force, so we're going to do it because why let them build any bank at all? Just yep. try and keep that low all the time. And indeed, they are going to buy up behind it. The pistols are going to have the utility, shuffle some of the nades around, but it's a Deagle on Zaiwu. It's a P250 on Apex. The other three have AK-47s. Round number nine. Three to five. Great run from Vitality at the start, but they could have managed to hold on which is great. Good recipe for a good map when it's not just that one sided. A little bit of a boost to look over, but that almost cost the Liege his life. Could have been really bad. Some teams down here could have got so creative with the boost, both on CT and T sides. Oh my God. Yeah. What about the nades? Yeah, I know. Let's not even talk about the chip damage part of it. That one is the orc nade that actually does significant damage onto Sphinx and Zywoo. Boost up. Nath, you're in danger. He might have spotted an elbow. I think he did. Sphinx is waiting. Ooh, missed the opportunity. Shot was there. Missed its mark. Orc grenade. Classic reference, Jensen. I'm like, I got you. But they're happy to fall back. They have some weapons, sure, but they don't have any real nades left. What, a smoke, an HE, and a flashbang, and that's about it. That's not that much to work with. No, and they got run against OC at distance with the AWP. He's gonna have his peak timing towards highway. There's the jump, there's the spot. He knows what's coming. Gonna stick around a dice box as Elise is starting to shift over, but he's gonna be perhaps a little bit late. And they're walking up Vitality with such low utility. They're trying to keep it, the timing in disguise. Good pick from OC and Yakinder feels safe at long. They're gonna attack into his position. He holds down the trigger, can't get anything, but Elise has come at the perfect moment. Almost a pre-fire there. That's a nice idea over at the, the sh over by the, the smoke, but Spink's coming out into a huge double kill. Gonna be picking up that one on OC. Starts to plant the bomb just slightly, but relocates. Only seven seconds left. That's really scary. There's an HE there, then the round is gonna be over with. They're low on health. But with the AKs, it's possible. Spinks currently a triple kill here. Sp turns around for it. Does not want to get flashed. Looking for it, but he's gonna be getting one more kill. Is he really gonna get the ace? Nap walking into it. It's close. So close for Spinks. But ultimately, Naf will pick it up and just barely save Team Liquid and save the orb as well. Yeah, but that buy from Vitality that they forced up with the three rifles has Great. done exactly what it's designed to do. Economic damage, you even get into the bomb site, you get the plants, so you're going to force Team Liquid to spend a lot of cash to get back into the fight, chip away at that economy, and you put yourself in a decent position. Now, I don't think they can really afford to force buy again here, but they can get pistol and armor, they can get a couple. I, I Spinks with the four kills in the previous round is going to get an AK-47, so once again, bringing elements of danger into the round, elements to take down players from Team Liquid. Was that Nitro playing the long corner originally? Who was playing that long corner? Yakinder. Yakinder. That feels like a kind of fight that he probably should just outright win because in a, in a different round, they're not just going to peek him like that, they're going to flash into it, right? They're going to flash peek him. So probably a little bit disappointed, I'm assuming, even with himself, that he couldn't at least get the one kill. That would have really changed the round a lot, but... Um, he, might, he might have been surprised that they came right at him, to be honest with you. If you're, uh, if you're in that position during an exit, exit, you're usually thinking you have the benefit of maybe a second where they're not looking in your direction, or the first guy's not looking at your off angle. They came right at him. Apex turned the corner, ready for the fight. Scout Apex almost grabs the head. And Yakinder, he stops out in the open for the challenge, and this time Apex has it. That's Four on three. The beauty of playing with a scout, isn't it? The lightning speed that you have behind it for those peaks. It's so much fun. Right, they're gonna flash peek him. 
So probably a little bit disappointed, I'm assuming, even with himself, that he couldn't at least get the one kill. That would have really changed the round a lot, but... Um, he, might, he might have been surprised they came right at him, to be honest with you. If you're, uh, if you're in that position during eggs, you're usually thinking you have the benefit of maybe a second where they're not looking in your direction, or the first guy's not looking at your off angle. They came right at him. Apex turned the corner, ready for the fight. Scout Apex almost grabs the head. And Yakinder, he stops out in the open for the challenge, and this time Apex has it. That's Four on three. The beauty of playing with a scout, isn't it? The lightning speed that you have behind it for those peaks. It's so much fun. Gonna try and see if they get the boost over. If he hits the sh shot on someone jumping, man, that's when the real fun begins. I'm really curious what, what Vitality is going to do in the next round. I, I kind of highlighted, you know, Zaiwu, you know, ignoring the AWP for a single round going into a low economy challenge. Ever since Vitality started putting the AWP on Zaiwu on the T side. Okay, a little bit of a boost. Hold, the, hold that thought. Yeah. They really want to get the end. Well, then do the triple. Do the Navi triple now. Ever since they switched Zaiwu using the AWP on the T side at five to nothing, he's got one kill with the AWP and they've won zero rounds. So I'm curious if he's going to go back to it. That was close. Or if they might just put him back on the AK-47. Yeah, that's a big question here, isn't it? They have the full losing bonus, so he'll have the money in the next round for it. And once again, this, these, these like miniature investments from Vitality are, are doing exactly what's designed. Chipping away, getting more kills. Mega shouldn't be able to get anything left. Nitro's just gonna peek him at end things. Run down for the AK-47. We're all tied up at five. Yeah, and they get three people living through that round, which is not super amazing, but it's definitely way better than uh, than the, the other round. So they'll take it. Started to build a bit of a bank. So he's down at the AK-47. Let's see if that changes Vitality's fortunes. Setting up fairly heavily outside of the B-bomb side early on. Maybe he's not afraid to push through, but they are looking for any boosts that are happening. There are just so many different variations. And look at you, Kinda, taking the space out here. That's massive. That should allow them to get basically four people down here, although one of them is dead. That's an end tree, and he should have found that one too. Got robbed by Naf shooting him in the back. That's otherwise a genius entry. Naf gonna try and buy some space. A little bit of time just with the Molotov. They had that aggression from Yukinda, but if they, he doesn't get there right now, they're gonna start to look. He might be able to shoot Saibu in the back if he's really quick with it, but already he's moved up. A little bit of spray for Naf, and somehow it's a three on three with a bomb pop. It's a pretty quick timing for this flank, though. He might catch him off guard as he comes in, and all three of them gonna position themselves behind the bomb site. They want Naf. They yeah, want they to find Naf. They're pushing him so aggressively and no one's looked behind. I don't think anyone's checked this for a good long while. They're all right down in front. Now they check it and it's a little bit too late. Saibu's gonna be going down. Good return though. Dupree on his own, low on health and he can't stand anywhere. This is so awkward, although that bomb is also real far ticked already. And Naf now again in another clutch situation. He's gonna do it again. Almost unbelievable. How many rounds is that now for Naf? I think it's worth up to three that he's crushed alone at the end. And remember, he even saved he even saved his Nitro on the first engagement for Magus. Can remember back to the previous map, Mirage. Magus was doing a lot of challenges up A ramp dry with no utility, trying to hit a timing where he can sneak into the bomb site. This time he finds it off sandbags, and that's a powerful entry. I think most of the time, an entry like that, I feel like, is going to win the T side the round. Yes. This time, unfortunately, a brilliant play from Team Liquid in the post plant. It's been six straight for Team Liquid. They're right back into this. Yeah, Apex on Stanley once again, and because of the bomb plant and the round loss, Vitality are going to keep on buying, so the pressure, it will continue in this round. Liquid will have to keep on fighting. Vitality, oh, this is interesting. They walk right through. There's no one there on the other side that can catch them. They can get a little bit of real estate. Nitro close by, but if they really wanted to fight him, they probably can. He had such a good performance holding down the A bomb site on Mirage, anchoring B as well. Well, let's see. Yeah, they're gonna hit this timing pretty hard. Three people ready to burst through Monster. They're hoping there's gonna be like a flash peak clear from Team Liquid on the CT side. They're in front of that smoke, so they don't really give a damn about it. Yeah, they're gonna go straight for it. That flash is a quick sign. Now they're gonna be coming up behind. Counter smoke to try and slow them down, but Apex will not be slowed down. Takes Nitro headshot to bring him down, and Yukinda comes charging out. That's very aggressive, and Cyber was just not really looking the right way at the right time. So four on four now. Bomb not being planted yet in sack. That's kind of moved almost past the bomb side. They're gonna get caught off. That's a bit sloppy because now Magus, someone else is gonna have to go pick up that bomb. Three versus four, and they're finally gonna get the plant home. But Liquid 
They've already been retaking this bomb side a couple of times. The same for the A bomb side. They might be able to do it again. Got utility. Leech is up in balcony, and OC is going to start slotting out. Sphinx is maybe the big X factor here. Going to get aggressive towards OC's position. Leech just missed the opportunity. Apex. Now he sees it down below. He knows the position. That's a huge kill for Sphinx to get. Yes, it is. And now they're really looking for Leech. He's going to have a hard time coming up without getting his head blown up. And now it might be a little bit too late almost. Elish taking a lot of damage. He's finally going to get the kill, but good recovery here. Vitality able to hold on. Double for Sphinx, double for Dupree. And finally, they get back into it, Vitality. Remember, they. They do need to win this map. Yeah, 2-1 series at the moment in the favor of Team Liquid. Winning overpass gives them the SL. Smoke down there towards the monster tunnel. And then a flash to set it up for the fountain and just try and see if they can surprise somebody, although no one is anywhere nearby to get flashed at the moment. So doubt this is going to be working out. But I like the idea nonetheless. We do spend a lot of time evangelizing about this one flashbang, so you love to see it. Oh, smart positioning though, way far back, and he's got the protection of Dupree, who can't get anything done. And there goes Zaiwu. Now the B bomb set is lost. Team Liquid, in theory, could go for this if they hustle right now, but I almost feel like the AK-47 and the AWP are way more valuable than trying to go for this. When you have this awkward yeah. of a money situation, make sure you just take this kind of advantage that you've gained. It feels like they are of a similar mindset. It didn't look like they were really going to try and run for it. There's such a high chance, isn't there, without the kit and everything else, that even if you get really... You're already throwing out the smoke down there towards the monster tunnel. And then a flash to set it up for the fountain and just try and see if they can surprise somebody, although no one is anywhere nearby to get flashed at the moment. So doubt this is going to be working out. But I like the idea, nonetheless. We do spend a lot of time evangelizing about this one flashbang, so you love to see it. Uh oh smart positioning though, way far back, and he's got the protection of Dupree, who can't get anything done. And there goes Zaiwu. Now the B-bomb set is lost. Team Liquid, in theory, could go for this if they hustle right now, but I almost feel like the AK-47 and the AWP are way more valuable than trying to go for this. When you have this awkward yeah. of a money situation, make sure you just take this kind of advantage that you've gained. It feels like they are of a similar mindset. It didn't look like they were really going to try and run for it. There's such a high chance, isn't there, without the kit and everything else, that even if you get really, really uh -oh. close... I don't like this. I don't like this at all. There goes the alt. There goes the AK-47. So, that idea's gone. Just crumple it up and toss it in the trash. Greed is feed, as we used to tell people back in the good old Dota Walker three days. <laughs> We're very creative people. We try, we try to rhyme, you know. Yeah. Wasn't even a good rhyme. That's wonderful. But still, they pick up some rifles and they give them right back. Yeah, and that can have some that can have some long term implications. There's, I mean, there's only two rounds left in this in this half. But I mean, perhaps for the next round, those if if Liquid goes on to lose this and is looking at six to eight scoreline, those could have been two rifles that you could have bought up in the final round. So I think that one that one could hurt if they can't convert this round 14. Op in the hands of OC again, Op in the hands of Zaiwu. Both offers have been uh, relatively quiet on this map compared to what we saw in Mirage. Yeah, maybe one way to put it is, if they win this round, Liquid, maybe we won't care so much about the rifles being lost, but if they lose it somehow, then yes, this could be a, a real disaster of losing those two weapons. Seven to six, Vitality on a one, one round lead, looking to make this half a nine six affair if they can, uh, if they can bring this one home. They win this round, the next one is going to be way easier. And look at Dupree, look at how fast he's scaling up long. He's he's probably almost won the round. If he keeps going like this, he's going to find an empty bomb site, and he can even go and backstab them in the B-bomb site. Oh, this is crazy. Only one that could save them right now is if you kid that could win this fight against Magus can turn around and try and help. Otherwise, yeah, this is insane. This is a huge gamble. Dupree at the moment is just calling out. Every, like, he's just saying, don't go B. Come out long, it's clear the whole way. Just be mindful of bathroom. I didn't clear it out, but I'm gonna get us a kill that's gonna win us the round. That's gonna give us a huge advantage. Naf, no idea. No idea whatsoever, and Liquid scrambling now to recover and close the gap in the defense. Yeah, Naf almost having a heart attack right there. Elise trying to get there, but Dupree still controlling the space, smoking and flashing everywhere. The bomb is gonna be planted. Oh, see, he really wants to do this, and he will. Inside of that dark little corner, he's gonna be able to find Dupree. That's great. Three versus four. No kits. There is no kit, you're right, but maybe if they're quick enough here. If you conduct could take the 
fight against Magus can win it, then it's going to be something different. Magus looking to wait just for a second. Cyborg's in the right position, but he misses the first engagement. OC will take out Apex. It's looking good for this retake. Now it's all on Cyborg, and he's got no real estate to stand on. They're everywhere. Nitro will take him down, and they're going to be there fast enough. Well done on that retake. Yeah, well, I mean, incredible patience from, from Yukinder, who is just down the stairs by Blue Door the entire round. Comes in at the perfect moment, even even counters the, ma the Mage's Lurk that was slow in and of itself, so finds a great timing. And Liquid hold on, and now, fortunately for them, that, that losing the two guns in the previous round doesn't come back to haunt them in any meaningful way. Nicely done from Dupree, but just looking away at the wrong time, and OC pops out. And you're exactly right. At the end of the day, there's nowhere for Zaiwu to hide inside the bombsite, and he knows it. He knew it at the time. I I really thought the creator won that whole round almost almost just by being at the bathrooms. It just it was such a ridiculous uh, sight on the minimap. You could tell that no one was nearby. Somehow Liquid find a way out. Sometimes that much of a gift, as we saw, is kind of tough to coordinate with your team because it's not really a situation that you expect to go into. Yeah, it's not, it's not really a benefit you expect to have. They definitely had a little bit of trouble trying to find the, the optimal way to use it, I suppose. They can now forward position and it's to pre to fall. And that clears out the entire A side of the map. Just now, bomb being picked up by Apex in T spawn. But if they wanted to go back to the A bomb side right now, they would have to spend a lot of time and utility that they don't even have. So surely they just have to go B. They don't really have a whole lot of utility to attack this bomb site either. Yeah. Gotta imagine Molotov towards barrels, smoke inside the site to give some freedom to plant, but Liquid's all in front of that smoke, so they're gonna be challenging the choke points. Apex gets dropped by Nitro up on top of the grates. Yeah. Now it's a five on three. And smoked off once again. <laughs> it's actually really close. Playing battleships inside of the B bomb site but he doesn't get the shot that he needed. And if they even wanted a chance of winning this round, probably they would have had to get a kill like that. They're still trying to see if they get through the tunnel. It seems absolutely impossible, although Magus is very accurate with that AK. Counter flash coming out, quick turn around a second one. He sees it coming and he's ready to try and fight Naf, but won't be successful this time. Expertly done from Naf. It's an achievement it would be if they could pick up this one. Eight to seven, and now Vitality on the CT side. Gonna have to see if they can fight their way back. I mean, it's just a one round deficit, but they are battling to get onto the fifth and final map in the grand finals. And that'd be Vertigo, and that'd be a map that Liquid has struggled with in this event. Yeah, that's actually very interesting to think about. What a way to end it if it goes there. We're all hoping that it will. I, mean, I think I think at least spotted Magisk. I think he knows. Well, yeah, he's calling in the rest of them. Yep, he's saying we got one in bathrooms. He's waiting at the end of it. You have one flash on Nitro. Do you want to use it to try and take this fight, or do you just brute force it? I think you just brute force it, to be honest with you. I think you want to hold on to that. If you can get this kill this early on in the round, all of a sudden you thin out the defense, you've got options. Well, let's see how many people it takes to bring down Magus. He's seen the shadow. He knows they're coming as well. <laughs> it's an absolute army. Well done. One for one trade, but Sphinx is there to take the head off Elige. I don't think he was expecting that. And I don't think he spotted Apex either, who's tucked into the corner. And there's not really a whole lot of manpower for Team Liquid to deal with that. If they keep progressing towards the A bomb site, Apex is pushed out towards Long. Nap might be caught off guard. Nope, not at all. He's ready. Spink's still inside the bomb site, and they know it. Nap has been so instrumental on this map. He's going to get the kill on Spinks as well. And now it's just down to the duelies. There's the flank from Dupree. Yeah, flank from he's Dupree. coming up quick as well, isn't he? Cyber's going to get the one headshot, but he goes down. And Dupree's crouched in behind them. They could still go to B if they wanted to, but I don't think they realize how close Dupree is. They're planning on the right side of the very least, and Dupree's been spotted. Keeps running, tries to chase him down, and he will. Nitro goes, and that is a huge save. Duelies to the rescue. Yeah, these pros have gotten so precise with the duelies. Even if you just go back like six months in time, you're not seeing a precise shot like that with the duelies at that headshot angle. And Naf, what a heads up play to even turn and check. He's like, well, I, we haven't seen him. We haven't heard him. Let's, that's, let's just look behind really quick, but gets shut down before he can do anything. Great job getting the kills to allow them to get into the bomb site itself. But what a wonderful flank from Dupree. Yeah, that works out extremely well for him, doesn't it? Vitality. <laughs> they need somebody to celebrate right now. Yep. 8-8, eight, eight, tied up, and a good, solid start to the second half for them. Although, with a bomb plant, you've got two AKs and a scout still, so you are going to have to pay close attention to what's happening next. Now, the only victory that Team Liquid got on Overpass 
at ESL Pro League Season 16, this Pro League we're currently in, was against Cloud9. They did lose it against Fnatic, but in that Cloud9 game, they only won it because Yakinder was a one-man wrecking crew. 41 kills, including 16 kills on the T side alone. He's going to add another one here. But they leaned so heavily on him in that match. And that's not, that's not the output that they're getting right now, although that is a good entry. But right now, the, the superstar for the Liquid side has been Naf. Not just in terms of the scoreboard, but the ridiculous clutches that he's had. I think you're up to like three or four right now. Yeah, a bunch of 1v1s, a bunch of cleanup kills as he comes into bomb sites and post plants as well. He's had some very impactful doubles, as he always seems to do. The Kinder's going to trade off for the scout and pass his AK-47 over to Naf. There's the flashbang. Oh, how perfect. How perfect is that? Everything you could have wanted. And in a round where you know the liquid economy is not really that great, maybe you're not expecting for the flash to come in that fashion. Look at the utility they got. They have, they have the utility to do like a full set piece here. Yeah, they have. Some of it might have been picked up from Spinks out there. Magus got to be really, really careful. More grenades are flying in. Counter nade coming out. That's good, but you cannot too far back to die from it. Magus, though, with the Famas, he does a lot of damage, but he can't find the second kill. Dupree and Apex are still here. Apex trying to do something, and Dupree coming up through that connector. He's been found, and he probably should have been dead. Nitro unable to find it. Ten seconds on the clock. They need to open this up right now. Seven seconds, and they're finally going to go for the bomb plant. Dupree, if he stops it, the round is over, but he can't. Not there in time. Naf will take him down, and it's liquid. Right back is what they do. They steal it away. Nine to eight. Opening kill for Yakinder. The second kill is a support flash that he cut, that he throws from long with low HP to clear out the player at Flowers. Excellent work, and he grabs a critical trade kill to open up the bomb site with what nine seconds left, as you said. Apex was holding down the fort very well before that shot. A very dangerous round where Yakinder has low HP as well. That SMG could have chewed him up. Important that Naf gets the closing kill. And you just mentioned how critical he's been. The big rounds that he's delivered. Another one in round 17. Uh, it keeps coming. And look at what it does to the economy on that vitality side. They're not excited about this at all. Deagles, five sevens, a couple of flashes as well. You kind up ready for that final though. Actually not the, the five seven. Talk about the duelies being good, but the five sevens definitely made a huge resurgence as well. Good and important trade coming in from Naf. If, if that would have kept going, they would have not just lost two players, but very likely would have lost some rifles behind it as well. They're trying to pick them up. Really alluring those rifles. Someone would love to get them, but it's not going to be possible. Got to say, I missed smoke, though. Look at the gap in this one. That was that was thrown in a, in a haphazard way, and it's allowed Nitro to grab a kill, and it's denied access to the rifle that they dropped in Yakinder. Cost the life of Apex. And Vitality is going to make a gamble. Sphinx and Dupree going to slide back towards the A-bomb site as Zywoo pushes up highway. Stack towards the A bomb site, and Liquid is not leaving B. Over to Monster we go. They want to put the range of the AKs and the M4 into play. Plenty of time. 42 seconds. Plenty of utility to make this safe. And Vitality is not really budging. So it'll be a two round lead for Team Liquid after all is said and done. Barring any kind of shenanigans and insanity from Zaiwu on this flank. They aren't even going for it. Just in every way, a good call right here. I like the idea that they stick around the L-Bend because if Vitality are going to keep feeding them players, then just as you said, play around the smoke, wait for it, and then ultimately they just keep on executing. And even if someone had been there, how do you dodge all the flashes and the Molotovs coming in? I mean, and you just have a pistol. It's not going to be possible, is it? No, it's really not. Ooh, all right. So exit kills are the name of the game for Vitality at this point. Look at the money on Vitality even now. I mean... They actually are in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, it's 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 nice that they at least have these that they've choose they've chosen chosen to go for this kind of a, a save for some exit kills, perhaps two players with with armor and upgraded pistols. I woo still with the deagle. You have some elements of danger. You can create a miracle as we saw in Zaiwoo's top ten playlist. The deagle rounds that he can pull out are absolutely incredible. But you gotta say too, the desk had a big conversation, and I you know Paula brought up the point as as the host. So shout out to uh, shout out to Paula. Um, Zaiwu need like maybe not needing to step up because there's not so much more he could go after Mirage, but needing to maintain that level. He's had three kills since round six. Yeah, he's really cooled down. Did nine kills with the AK-47 in five rounds. Switched to the op, got one kill in a supportive fashion entering into the B bomb site, and he's only had two more or a couple more since then. Yeah, that is a good point. Dupree though has been playing really well. 17 on him. Oh, that's a good grenade. You wish it would have been a couple more there, but still. 
It'll soften up that boost that was going on. He's gonna put a smile on his face when he sees his name in the assist column. Yeah. Yeah. I had the right idea a minute ago. But still, looks like it's gonna end up being a fairly decent call coming up from the Liquid Camp at the moment. Nobody out on long. A little tiny presence right now at the A-bomb side. But if it keeps going this way, I mean, even if they get back here is the problem though. What do you even do at that range? Yeah, I mean, this, this is this is part of the, the, the call for Team Liquid is great. You kinder with the MAC-10 leading the way, clearing things out with a, with a low-risk weapon to lose, and then obviously heading towards long initially allows you to use the range of the rifles once again, much like their, sl their slide-through monster in the previous round. Now, there is a boost up in short water to pick off a player in stairs. So if there's resistance on this defense and Liquid have to call an audible to head down the stairs towards B, they could be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, that's true. There is a little bit of a trap waiting for them on the other side. I don't think they're going to fall back, though. Good shot from Saru, but the rest is going to get cleaned up. Make has gone a little bit of a flank that 5-7 again, but you're kinder. That is great. Turning around for it, making sure that they do not get caught. And it'll be a bomb plant and a round win as well. Liquid going to be up 11-8. to eight. That means they're just five rounds away from crowning themselves champions. And that'll be something. Vitality, they're going to have a shot at it in the next round to try and, and put a stop to the madness. And I mean, think think of think of where this all began for Team Liquid back in the group stage. They looked very, very sketchy yes. in, in, in Group D coming much, into this. Remember criticism for OC, I remember. Yeah, I mean, he, he's been, it's a whole different player that we've got in the playoffs for sure. But I mean, even the fact that going into the final day of Group D, Liquid was not guaranteed for the playoffs. They had to beat Cloud9. They had to beat one of the best teams in the world just to make it in here. And now a real shot at hoisting the trophy. Five rounds seems close, but Vitality is going to get guns out now. Team Liquid's had a couple easier of a time, or a little bit easier of a time against Eagles, against 5.7s, against Pistols. But now they've got the op of Zaiwu on the board. Now they've got Utility on the CT side. Zaiwu's glass cannon. Even though he's been a little bit quiet since the start of the map here, I would still say glass cannon Zaiwu is worth it. You need some inspiration on this side. He is the super weapon of this team, so why not try and do it? 11 to 8. And a nice wall bang. No one knows yet, but Yukinda's down to 4 health. That's a nice way to get started in a round. A little bit of a lean towards the B bomb side. Yeah, but I, that damage, I mean, unconfirmed, I think, for Vitality, but they're going to, I mean, Yukinder is going to have the tough time providing a standard entry. He's going to go for a boost up. Waiting for his timing to peak. Now he's over at Sandbags. Nobody's home. Nobody's in sight. Kind of a rare thing when you especially with the monitor behind you would have assumed that someone would have peaked i mean that's definitely what they were angling for i true and your kinder made plenty of noise dropping off that boost so that's going to be called out by dupree that there were at least two players and half is going to slide in for a challenge yeah sneaking in still 40 seconds but this opening kill is going to be absolutely everything for them at the moment and it'll go the way of naf make it's going to quick return four versus four and down to 30 seconds over on the other side. If they go too quick, Elise is going to be catching them, but none of that will matter unless they can actually... Ooh, get the bomb as they're running it back. Sphinx is here, and he will go down. Elise, that is the one kill they oh. had to get. If they want any chance of winning this, it's going to have to be quick. 18 that, seconds. That pulled Apex back a little bit. He slid away. He's got to hustle back, but now he's a little bit out of position to provide as staunch of a defense as he'd like. Nitro, what a stunning shot, and May just can't get it done. He needs that kill. It's Captain America to deliver a 12 round at the perfect time and so we can't even get into the battle they really thought that was going to be an a execute they ran it back there was no time at all if anyone on that b defense works if they can actually get even a single kill that probably does it that's probably liquid losing the round and instead it's 12 to 8 and Spinks. They have money. They're going to be hunting a little bit at least Spinks in back-to-back -back grand finals was in the previous one with ants that they lost to phase the least experienced player on the roster gets pulled into that play and him going down forces the defense of the B-bomb site to shift to try and close the gap, pulled Apex out of position entirely and provided the opportunity for Liquid to knock down the door. Just four rounds away and money is tight for Vitality. 
That kill right there is huge, but look at these shots from Nitro. Building off of that incredible performance on Mirage. I mean, don't want to read too much into it, but prior to you, Kinder, do you think you would have ever seen Liquid execute a strat that late in a round? That feels no, like some real not. CIS Counter-Strike, doesn't it? Yeah, certainly. That's the new style that's been brought in, and obviously it's been very effective. Giving a little structure and attitude to the incredible talent. Scary for Simon falling back like that. He is still close enough by. Could he get the flick in time? Your kind gonna be right down there, and yeah, he is obviously gonna be quick enough. What am I saying? Nice little kill. Boosting up Spinks. Uncommon position to be checking. Might might miss it if you're walking in. Now, Ustero is very much the only player at this bomb site. Dupree can have a very fast flank up the stairs, and Apex is actually shifting back now to address that problem, but there was there's there's there was an opportunity there for Saiwu to perhaps go down, especially with no head armor. Apex going to be jump spawning out towards long. Just a deagle in hand. They still have the problem of defending the A-bomb side from all the smokes, right? So, I mean, Simon could try and play around it, but probably some of the main positions that he's going to want to occupy with the AWP are going to be put under some pressure from just the utility that's on the liquid side. And maybe that will minimize the impact of that AWP, although he's really far forward right now, so he's going to be in combat orbing range instead. Here comes the utility. Vitality know it's coming. Zawu steps forward. Vegas rotates over. Apex as well is going to be at the headshot angle. Oh, look at this. Dupree on a little bit of flanking mission. Didn't get the kill immediately, but Saibu is down there. Not affected at all by the grenades because he's this far forward and all of the pistols doing some work as well. That is an absolutely brilliant round from Vitality that they desperately needed. They were started the fall behind. This is slipping out of their hands in the grand finals, but now they've got a little bit more of a grip, 12 to nine, and they get to save a lot of weapons. Yeah, they, they had to have that round. That gives them a little bit of wind of the sails. Let's see if they can build up on it. Zaiwu, very good round. Important kills, the opening under Yikinder, and the opening as the execute came in. Still the pre doing well, but Saiwu started to pick it up now. Starting to get a little bit on the board once again. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't gonna stay quiet for this whole game. That's what they need. But Team Liquid really took took advantage of the quiet streak out of them, for sure. Yeah, they're moving closer all the time, but... Not infinite depths in their coffers either on the Liquid side. They gotta be a bit careful here with the weaponry. If they start to give it away, then we've got a wide open game once again. Juggling a couple of nades on the other side here. The boost is happening, but also, well, there's a... Both boosting almost. That was about to be interesting. Leash with the opening in the round, and this is close. Oh, I can't believe it. Magus, how did he get the flick up there with the AK? Takes down the Akinda. They've tried it a couple of times. Apex has lost his damn mind, and is going to be running into the fire to fight in the L band instead. Three versus four now. Yeah, but Zaiwu is to stay parked at the A bomb site because Spinks went down. So he's got to at least keep eyes on what's happening at the A bomb site. They have no idea that Liquid has readjusted everyone towards Monster. Apex and Magus are playing a very passive. Oh no, the boost up. It's the worst time. They're in no man's land. Oh, well, they're in deep trouble, yeah. Again, they're out of position. Just. Oh, oh no, not that as well. Magus is still good with the spray, but they've lost the bomb site. And that's Magus Molotov. So it is all on Saiwu now. One versus two. Snuck up with the AWP. If he misses the shot, he's probably dead. But it is Saiwu. Let's see what he, he can bottom. do. He's real close. They don't know about it. There's the one kill. Goes for a second one right around the corner. He's hunting him down. And he'll find him. That is a miraculous clutch. It keeps Vitality in the grand final. 12 to 10. Oh, it's beautiful. More importantly, I think it keeps them from tilting off the face of the earth because you could see very discombobulated on the defense. A boost up at a very inopportune time. A missed Molotov as well that almost ruined the day. This is... That is actually disgusting that he actually hits that headshot. Actually disgusting. They almost find their way in. They just even... I mean, between that shot, that disgusting transfer over, but also the double kill after getting disorganized with Apex. Yeah. It's huge. Oh, that is close. I'm almost surprised we're not seeing a timeout from Vitality after all of that, but still, they're, they're letting it play. Two rounds straight for Vitality's defense. What a marathon of a grand final it is already. Door has been blown up, and they're trying to take a look deep into that connector, trying to see if they can find someone. Simon's out here. 
doesn't even move. He's flashed and he still sticks around. Oh, Elise is certainly going to be upset at that. Who does that? That's it. Well, Liquid does it. They did that exact same setup in the first round. Exact same setup to get them. That opened up the round with three kills. This time, it's just Zaiwu grabbing a frag, and with no follow-up aggression from Team Liquid, they back out of it. I can't believe he just stares into the sun at that moment. He doesn't even care. Your kid not going to be moving up close. Yeah. Have a little bit more of a rough game this time around. See if he can bring it back. Maybe if he could defeat Spinks here, that would start to make up for it. 50 seconds on the clock, and that's a nice smoke to slow them down. Spinks going to relocate, going back into it. If he actually turns around, he might find He's a free exposed. kill on Yukinda. Yeah, he is a little bit exposed. And that's it. You're right. The gun barrel sticking through. They know. But here's the problem, though, Jason. They still have to face Saibu. How are they going to be doing that? <laughs> Mushi certainly isn't. He's dead and gone. They will get him. Nitro. This time, the unlikely hero to stand up, but a flash from Magus. Great work between the two Danes here. And at least Nav in a borderline on winnable position. One versus three. Already tagged up a little bit. They're all coming for him. He's got 15 seconds here. He's won this, uh, or a couple of rounds for them already that he shouldn't have. This is almost asking too much. The spray through, not connecting. Eight seconds now. And he's going to make his escape with the AK, says it's probably better to try and do that. So, 12 to 11, Vitality. They're holding on. I yeah. don't want to let go of this grand final yet. It's been all Zaiwu to keep him in this as well. The 1v2 clutch in the previous round, two very important kills in this round. The opening, the follow-up as well onto OC as they try and enter into the bomb site. He's hit some stunners. And with the losing bonus not fully built up for Team Liquid, and without a plant in that round, I don't think they can buy again. Maybe a little bit of a reprieve for Vitality. They've got to worry about the single AK-47 on NAF, but otherwise it's going to be pistols. Well, you were talking about the... Potential for a timeout, right? Yeah. You are right to say there's a lot of rounds that have slipped the wave of vitality all of a sudden, and with that comes a lot of momentum. They're starting to feel a lot better. Cyber's getting walked up. The Free's still playing really well. They gotta be careful here, Liquid, that they don't just give them too much runway to get that much speed behind them. I would this time down in the connector, and that's an easy shot for him to hit. Molotov is behind him just to make sure he can get out of there. Molotov and Smoke combo to give him the escape route. Dupree and Magus just push out of Monster. They cleared everything. Vitality know exactly what's happening on the map. They have a one-man advantage. Everything in their favor so far. The one real danger is perhaps Sphinx at low... Oh, what? That, that's a jump clear. And Sphinx has low HP. I was about to say, this, this could be a problem. Low HP, he can't really fight. He can't really challenge. He goes for it anyways. Risky peek, and he's got it through the fence. What is happening in this round? Nice nade, but if it had been anybody else, maybe they would have been dead. OC, though, he could tank that nade, and they'll get the bomb plant. They're going to be patient. Dupree's flanking out towards long. He's kind yeah. of the insurance policy. He should be able to seal it. So when he eventually comes up long, I think he's going to grab Nitro, which is the close pay player to try and take advantage of the retake beginning. Actually, excuse me, may just and spams it again. Put all my money on a late Deagle from Elige. They do not have a smoke to stop the bomb with, or to put on top of the bomb. So we'll see. Good shot there from Dupree. Oh. Elige back here, he really wants to take it. Oh, they're going to come look for him. That's great. They make absolutely sure. And with the kit on top, they're going to be just fine. Tied up 12 to 12. Scary for just a second. I can't believe Spinks got that kill. I certainly can't believe they got the opening there on, uh, who was that, Apex jumping around? Yeah, that's a, that's a nasty shot from OC. It's, yeah, if you're a Team Liquid fan, that's a shame they couldn't take advantage of 19 HP. What a bold peek from Spinks. What a wonderful job spamming afterwards. You can see the return spam is just barely off the mark, and this is the late flank to pre-handling business. And even at the end of the day, OC's AK-47 got shot way far away from Elige. 12-12. I'm, I'm kind of surprised there hasn't been a timeout during this, but it's also kind of cool to think that everyone's just like, all right, let's play on. Let's keep going head-to-head -head right at each other. Oh, yeah. No one's slowing it down. I really can't believe it, but... Maybe they want to save it till a bit later. Spinks will take one, but the jump up on the stairs means he was definitely going to go down to that one. Recoil all over the place, and you can double take him down. Four on four to start this round with, with absolutely everything on the line. Vitality looking to climb back. They themselves now four rounds away from finding a fifth map and continue the grand finals even deeper, even further. And this is starting to be a consistent play for Magus and Dupree. Once again, they've pushed Monster, but Nav. He can be aware. Flashbang. That's going to put him on notice. Naf. Oh, what a headshot. What a stunning kill. Now, they don't know Dupree is pushed forward. He can still punish them if they want to come back. Oh, but Yekinder, he's got Apex through the boards. 
Like, no way. Why not? That's what they needed. Now, instead of Dupree just being the insurance policy, he might just have to try and go for it. Cyber runs into the flames and wants to be there. And sure, Dupree gets that flanking kill, but what does it matter? Yep. They're gonna get the bomb plan. In fact, they're gonna go all the way to the A-bomb side and just leave him down here. There should be no way, absolutely no way that Dupree can win this round. I don't think there's even a world in which he considers going for it. He's so far away. Yeah, it does not seem like a good idea. 13 to 12. Okay, a little bit of luck going their way. Must hit shot for Zaiwu as he swings out into the Molotov. He had a chance to find Naf and he perhaps could have survived with low HP afterwards, but didn't go his way. And we're at that dangerous point now in the map, in the series really, where if Liquid break this vitality economy down the stretch, well, now that they're at 13, oh boy, does that put a lot of pressure on you if you're vitality? Pressure that you might not come back from. That's absolutely weird. We're too close to the finishing line right now. You don't have the luxury. Naf at 21 kills, but look at the drop behind it. It's actually, the rest of the team is quite far away, whereas on the Vitality side, we've got Dupree, Simu, but we even got, um, we even got Megascope there, not that far away. So they have like a, a little bit more of an even trio happening on the Vitality side, but Naf is playing a crazy game at the moment. And that's yeah. bringing them real far into this Ooh, one round lead. Good catch, Observer. Spotted the jump, Yakinder. Takes the AK-47 back out, and Apex just has some bad luck. Yeah. And now we get a time. So, if your coach can come up with something great, then now is the time for it. 13 to 12. Vitality, some money in the bank, but it's starting to look real sketchy. Liquid taking one step closer. Four man stack on the defense. Now, this is a couple of times we saw previously there was a boost up towards heaven, towards the balcony, to peer in towards the blown up door. Now we get that same stack, or similar stack, except it's inside the bomb site to look at the same position. But they're not finding that success. They're not finding the kill that they want with the boost like that. Well, maybe they are now. Yeah, they are now. They did it again, which... It seems a bit scary once you've come up the boost, but um, the timing is good. Nitro is out of the round. And they're going to try and see if they can put a little bit of pressure over on Long as a way to make up for that uh, casualty down in Connector. But they're going at Zaiwu. Perfect for Vitality that they funneled them away from the B-bomb site. The four-man stack, the boost has worked its magic. Now you got to go up against the God Op. Who wants to do that? Yeah, going up against the boost might not be that much fun, but... This is surely worse. 38 seconds. Really well timed on the smoke there. That's going to slow them down. They want to uh, try and execute something behind. They have the nades on the T side, so they could set up a regular execute onto the A-bomb side, but the CT smoke just a bit frustrating. Oh, nice return. Your Kindo on the spray. Up close, can he get a third? He's low on health already, and Spinks will take him down, but he's panicked, running for his life. And right into OC's AWP. 14 seconds on the clock now, and it's Dupree and Magisk. Trying to get here. The bomb is going to get planted. Some nade damage on top of them, just as a parting gift. Elige, though, swings for it, and he almost gets the shot. Now it's down to OC. He's missed it once. Oh, a nice flick right through the box. He's going to be taking down Dupree. And Megas gone the other side. He's worried. He doesn't want to try and fight it. Up on top, and OC! He brings him down. A triple and a 14th round. That's a big boy clutch. That's a veteran clutch from a young player. He delivered a Mirage. He's the one who brought him back into the map, and that is a stunning. That might be the first nail in the coffin. That's a four on five win. That is a man down conversion for Team Liquid at a critical moment, and it puts the economy in shambles. Just mentioned, nightmare scenario. Two M4s, a scout, and two SMGs for Vitality to fight with very light on utility. No kits across the board. There's a lot of advantages in this round for Team Liquid. Two rounds away from the ESL Pro League title. A historic win it would be for Team Liquid, and no doubt about it. First in three years. Oh, they're taking their time on that boost, but the smoke is at least gonna help them out. Nitro, I don't know how much you heard on the other side, but you could tell he was suspicious, at least for a second there. Molotov obviously not gonna be touching Spinks, so we'll see. MP9 up here, creative way to try and use it. Vitality's been putting, these past three rounds, is there's been so many resources to try and punish anyone going blue door. Saw the boost up in the last round that picked off Nitro. Now another boost up to catch him off guard as well.
Under a minute. Noise being made out on long. Elige doing the best that he can to sell. Dupree's got a smoke, but he's at the A bomb site. There's, there's no more delay tactics at B. Yeah, you're right. And about 45 seconds, that's actually a bit scary. Magus, that's close to them walking through. They're going to be falling back, and now they're going to be slowly walking up. They need a really godlike flashbang, and here it comes mid-air. The swing is in, and Magus Key will clean it up. That's a beautiful double kill. OC able to return him. 30 seconds, and you're never going to be checking this. It's just not possible. Elige heart attack moment. OC up close now, trying to find them. Compab orbing right down in front. And Apex, even flashed, is able to get the kill. 20 seconds here for Naf to try and do it. He can't save the team this many times. I don't think this one is going to be possible. But get taken down from the high ground. Dupree will drop him. 25th kill for Dupree. And Vitality, they're still alive. They're still kicking. I, that's insane. What a battle back for Vitality with that kind of a buy. That's huge. They even pick up the AWP off OC's body, pass it over to Zaiwu, so all of a sudden, flush with every weapon they would need, every resource they need moving forward. You're exactly right. You're never checking this if you're a leash. Good patience from Sphinx, just staying up there the whole round. The timing on the flashbang to clear monster. Again, Magus, Magus delivers a stunning double kill. Yeah, the flash setup there is... Like you pointed out, they don't have any more grenades to slow anything down with. So. And they, they caught a timing too, where nobody, the, the two players are going monster. Sometimes when you get into that position, you see a player staring into the wall playing anti-flash. That time, nobody between Nitro and Yakinder. Right as the money was running out, right as they were about to lose the entire finals. And they come up with that brilliant stuff. Sneaking in now. That is some really nice timing on that one. They've been trying a lot of different things with boosts outside like this and just a naked walk-in. No real signal that it was coming. And Dupree, he wasn't ready for it. We've seen it from we've seen it from everyone in this from Team Liquid in this series so far. Yakinder with the Inferno performance, OC with the Omping on Mirage to bring him back into it. Nitro on the CT side of Inferno holding down the A bomb site. Naf with some brilliant clutches and now delivering top fragger here on overpass. Everyone on Team Liquid came to play today. Sphinx is close. He's tried this before and he got caught by Yakindar, if you remember. Smoke is going to be fading and he just finds the time for it. Cyber on the other side, he does have a Molotov, but do you want to try and throw it? Yeah, it's scary though. You could get peeked at the same time. Sphinx now getting wall by. Oh no! A two for one instead! Oh, they're offering themselves up. He gets one more with the Molotov. Everything is going his way. Spins it around. It's Apex to get that one, but still. You kinder, nothing he could do here. That is a lockdown. Yeah, no time, nothing left to fight for. You kinder's just gonna back away. What a save from Zaiwu. And with the time running so low, Liquid would have to swing into that Molotov to go for the challenge. Brutal the way they've been shut down. Both teams down the stretch squandering five on fours. That's an opening kill provided by Naf on a Dupree, and they can't convert it. A couple of rounds back, it was an opening kill provided from Vitality, and they couldn't convert it either. And that's. And that's OC's op that destroys him. If he doesn't get this one, it looks like Sphinx is about to absolutely get annihilated in that corner. The the wall bangs coming through. Oh, that is a shock. What a twist. Yeah, and then the money, the, the money issues go the other way now, the other direction. 14-14, 29th round. You're right. This could be Vitality getting that third, oh sorry, the third, fifth map. That is what it's looking like at the moment. You kinda better have some game with this Galil. Now, for the moment, Zaiwu's on the other side of the map. He's at the B bomb site. In fact, he's deep into the B bomb site, staring at Monster. And Yakinder is just going to lead the way. He's saying, "No one make noise." Contact play. Yep. We don't have to challenge it. We don't have to be flashing every single angle. Sphinx is alone here still. Yep. He actually has no grenades either. Oh, and he's moving forward. This could be a disaster. This could end the whole round for them. They might actually have found a way. Apex is here. Yeah, there is a little bit of backup coming, but is it going to be enough? Apex is getting close now. That was here as well. Yeah, that might be what they needed. That is the super weapon that is on that side all the time. 55 seconds and Liquid, that timing window might have gone away. Oddly missed shot there. Could have definitely got that opening kill, but Liquid now also realized, yeah, more people showing up. Do they still want to try and go for this? It feels like... I tell you, they know everything. 
Yeah, they're gonna go for it anyway. Flash not doing anything to side with. He was back around the corner, but Elyse on a good return. He'll take down Spakes. Apex out in the open. Oh, he's very exposed, and they're running him down. Apex is out of it. Nap with the kill. He is gonna continue. Double. And now Dupree. He's walked up behind him. 25 seconds. Nap can balls. make he's the escape. Be. Yep, he can go. He is out of there. No, wait a minute. Oh, he's All out right. of there. Don't worry. Don't you worry. He's playing at the B bomb site. If Nath can close this, he's had so many clutches in this game. He's going to plan. Oh, no. He's planning default. Okay. He's hidden for the moment. Goes for it. Molotov in front. Pressure is on. He has to run out into the open. He gets shut down. Dupree on the save. It's 15. On the side of Vitality, he actually wants to run and pick up the AWP all the way up here. I don't think I would have the nerve to do that. Dupree? He's, he's got plenty of time. Don't you worry. I think I think that might be one of the few times I've seen Naf in a clutch hesitate. It almost seemed like he was wondering if he should take that fight, if he should stand and just kind of slip out behind the boxes and play the headshot angle, or if he wanted to escape and play the time for the box. And he got caught a little bit trying to choose between the two options, and Dupree hits a banger. 15-14. Oh, my God. Now, money's mostly fine for Vitality. A little bit sketchy, but it, it's going to be all okay. That plant is going to help Liquid out massively. Alige, two important kills. But the fact that Vitality... Look at the, the, these kills are amazing from Team Liquid. But what saves Vitality is that they got the information. They read what was coming. No presence at the B bomb site. Liquid slow played it. The fact that they rotated. They had four players on that defense. And if they didn't... Those kills just probably secure the round. One chance, round 30, one opportunity for Vitality to close this out or we've got another overtime. Had a great comeback for them. It's a very rough first half here on Overpass. That again, they've summoned the strength to make it back and they want to fight for that last map. Saibu a little bit awkward, but he makes that shot work anyway. Recovers his composure and takes down Elige. And that's a great opening kill. That goes the right rate. That was his 29th victim. Yeah, Alish felt the damage. He, he he felt that he did so much damage to Zaiwu. Wanted to clean up that kill. Punished for it. Punished on the chase. The Kinder and Nitro out Blue Door, or out the stairs, I should say. OC out towards Long. Looking so good right now for them. Spinks. Do they really? I don't think, I don't think OC knows. Is he going to check it? Has he any idea? No, he did not. He's actually very lucky to be alive. If he does get to be catching Sphinx, though, a little bit of a mistake running back like that. Probably because he saw OC run that way. He's thinking, yeah, he's just falling back from this position entirely. Didn't realize it was the second player up close. So right back, and it's a four on four. zaiwu has got to play this perfectly with low HP. But as we know, an overpass with the op, these narrow tight angles, and someone like Zaiwu can do so much work. I'm wondering where Liquid's gonna go with this. Dupree once again is pushed in towards short. They've gotten very proactive on that side of the map when they're not feeling the pressure. OC might be waiting for this. Might be waiting for this the whole time. Door open, easy kill on a Dupree, and it's a four on two for overtime. Oh, it's looking great right now. The only thing to go wrong is the time, but they're down to the B bomb site. They're already checking it out, and Vitality are not anywhere nearby. Smokes up as well, just to make sure they should be there around. Nine seconds on the clock. Magus trying to get into the high ground. <laughs> Getting shut down mid air. Naf there to catch him. And it's a one versus three to try and secure this right here. It's Naf once again. Come alive. Dupree's been playing out of this world. Naf on the other side. He's starting to get a little bit more help from your kinder, but he needs, they need a third player. They need somebody else there. Could be Liege, could be OC on that AWP. But I feel like they need a, a third one in that trio to make this really kick off and close this out. If they win this one, it's done. It's history time for Liquid. Vitality, they just want that third, or I keep saying third, fifth. Fifth map on Vertigo. Yeah, and again, we will just reiterate it. That's a map that Liquid have struggled on. A liege, an opportunity. If Sphinx pokes his head up a little bit too high, he's done for. Now, Liege is keeping his eye on that. Going to come through the smoke. But he heads away from Zaiwu's op. If he slid to the right, he might have just been done. A little scary. Zaiwu's going to smoke it off and fall back just a bit more. He's been playing in this forward position a lot in front of the bomb site. That seems to be his hunting ground at the moment. Spinks is making a BDP at the moment. He's pushed all the way through the underpass. Now, he can push up the ladder. He can choose to be aggressive and go for some kind of a flank. If not, this is a phenomenal position on the map to gain information, but he's going for broke, baby. Nobody holding it. OC's going to have no idea when he eventually wraps behind him. 
Yeah, he should just be dead. <gasps> oh no, now he's got to sink back. Where does Spinks go? How do you get away from this? Nath is going to be prepared, opens the door. No, he won't. No, he won't. So Spinks gets away with it. He gets away with another. The mistake has netted him a double kill regardless. I don't think they know where that came from. They I might actually, not have. I actually, Silencer. Yeah, they were so confused by the silence. I don't think they had any real clue. 15 seconds, the round is probably already done. Yeah, they're just going to be falling at the clean and close to the bomb site, but it's not going to be possible here. Eight seconds on the clock, and Apex is covering this lineup. Bomb is on the ground, and Spinks, in spite of an absolutely catastrophic failure in, in getting that first kill, it just works anyway. I can't believe, yeah, I, that has to be it. Nosey had no idea where it came from. The silencer at least helped him mask the mistake and netted him a double kill down the stretch. I think you could even see, even when they opened the door, yeah. They're looking for him to be, they think he's connector. They think he's in the stairs. Oh my God. That's crazy. 16, 15. That's not the way you want to start overtime if you're Team Liquid. That round just fell completely flat. Shake it off, forget about it. Remember, Talk about it later. Liquid has no more timeouts. They used all four in regulation. They used two timeouts way down the stretch to inch closer to 15. They couldn't get there. They brought it to overtime at the end of the day, but they've got no more chances to slow down the game. No, they really don't. Dupree wants to stay a bit aggressive out here. And this is great. If he can go and actually occupy the sewer area outside the B-bomb site, they can start to do so much more with the rotations. They can be real close to getting in the connector again and try to reinforce that the restrooms over on the A side. So I like this play from Dupree right here. Just getting a little bit more maybe than he could have expected. Nitro. Ooh, this is dangerous. That smoke is about to fade. Dupree, he's hungry for it. He's surely going to be walking up in behind him. Nitro, he has no idea, and he's going to get caught. That is an expert play from Dupree. Nitro's had so much pressure put on him in these positions as well. That's like the fourth or fifth different style of look that, that Vitality have thrown at him. He's got a couple boosts inside the bomb site with the door being blown open. Now, nobody's watching long. Apex is rotating back. Deep smoke goes down. Is going to... Oh, there's a gap in that. There that, might be a a, that might be even be a design gap. Well, Simon's certainly looking for it. I don't think he's going to get fooled anytime. Yakinda's going to be going down. They seem to know you might have been onto something there. The bomb is committed to it, so they have to go. Simon, we're going to catch your liege right through the smoke, and it's on Naf and OC to try and bring it back at a two on five. Seems impossible, probably, because it is OC here. Yeah, I mean, if they jump for him, maybe, but he's only got 10 seconds left, and Dupree will drop him at the end. Another double kill for Dupree. He's up to 28. And first two rounds of overtime go to Vitality. Yeah, and at this point, if you're Team Liquid, down two rounds in the first OT, as you just mentioned, I mean, it's you, you feel the pressure to get at least one on the board. You don't want to switch sides and have to win three in a row just to stay in the map. Zaiwu tracks perfectly through the smoke, drops a liege. Yakinder had gone down first, and Naf, a lot of bodies. Vitality's actually done a really great job Dupree's been a menace. Uh, he has, he's had some incredible plays, but some on the CT side, some of his best plays have been the information he's gathering in short water, because it's allowing Vitality to rotate to the A bomb site in time to handle some of these hits, to handle some of the executes. And those are things that won't show up on the scoreboard, but he's playing a phenomenal game. Ooh, he just, again, he just doesn't even look away. Stays flashed and gets the kill on OC. Naf in a little bit of trouble. Good burst to take him down. <laughs> gets blown up. Yeah, and he, he probably felt like he had to challenge. Yeah, I mean, he also maybe did. It, oh, you can, you can bring it back. If he gets one more here, the fire will consume him. It's going to be Dupree going down to Nitro all the way from out there. And they're going to go straight for the bomb plant. Two versus two now. Yakinda's very low on health. He's getting caught. And Nitro to try and save it, which he cannot. Spinks will drop him three in a row for Vitality. It's a great start to try and get that fifth map. Three very convincing rounds on the CT side of overtime from Vitality. They never really had a test. The first two rounds just fell flat. This one is a massive advantage that's miraculously pulled back by Yakinder, but handling business with relative ease after the fact. Well done jumping up over the bomb site. Great damage to Dupree through the boards. That allows him to burn to death. And yeah, a little bit of frustration. A little bit of frustration. Lead Team Liquid need to win three in a row to bring us to double overtime. 
you can almost feel that fifth map now. Now he mentioned the championship blood that Vitality have, and it's serving them so well in this map. Yeah, he's not wrong. Here we go, straight rush. They want to close it out right now. Spinks on the opening, takes down Nitro. It's a brilliant start. They want to keep going, but Nap is here. He's still fighting for America. Three kills in a row to shut it down. They would have been wiped out. This bomb site would have been gone, and it would have been bomb plant instantly if he wasn't there. Saibu and Dupree left, two versus three. They just need a couple of kills here, and maybe, maybe they could keep fighting this grand final. Saibu not sure about when to plant this bomb just yet. Is he gonna get thrown up behind him? Yeah, there we go. I don't think they know Elijah's here. They probably don't. Might be a chance to save it. They're backing on out. There's the spot, but they definitely didn't. You're absolutely right. They had no clue. Dupree, what do you even do? They have the money to fight. He might as well try and go for it, even if it's one versus three, but... He snuck around the L bend. Slight element of surprise, but that's smoked off at the same time. Maybe that's going to work out to his benefit. Oh no, the Molotov as well. Now he's got absolutely no shot at it. And Liquid, they get one more. Yo, ESL made a Twitch emote for, for Hooksy for obvious reasons. It might be time to make one for Naf. I can't believe he gets a triple kill there. What an incredible performance he's putting out. That, that was so impressive in a near impossible situation nitro went down very very quickly and i'll tell you what one thing that vitality has shown in these past two maps is their ability to adapt their willingness to change the pace their willingness to get a little bit weird all of a sudden after mostly a slow t half in the first half they just bust out a monster rush in the first they're going for the uppercut they're going for the knockout punch i think i think it's such a bold play and it, it, it almost, almost works i mean it would have worked if it wasn't for naf it wasn't for naf that's the headline for this fourth map that sums up everything we've seen. Leech has no idea. Definitely not. He's a free kill. He's about to have a heart attack himself. The flashbang doesn't even catch things. That's even worse. That would have been a slightly, maybe a slight chance, but brilliant play. Good stuff. Spink has really done a lot in the last, what, five or six rounds. Yeah, he's had some good work. The Kinder sliding up towards long, trying to make up for the man disadvantage. Both of these teams let rounds like this slip towards the end of regulation. Zaiwoo's gonna be the one turning the corner first. If he's prepared with the off, ooh, Yakinder, he's gonna get a kill. He found it, gonna smoke it off. It was absolutely huge. They tried to flash him away, but he's doing everything. This is the kind of Yakinder that they haven't really had too much off on overpass. For a long time, he wasn't doing enough, but now he's ready for it. Taps away and nearly drops Magus, but he'll stay alive. Eight health, Saiwoo's here, and that's an easy shot for him to hit. Naf and OC to try and hold on to the map one more time. Otherwise, Vitality, they'll get the fifth map. They'll continue the battle. Down to 30 seconds at the moment. And look at this position for OC. Yeah, he's not really in a position that you can fall back and then change your angle. I think he wants to. to fall back. I think he wants to fight to the death right here. They're coming for him. Bombus on the ground. Anyone else want to step it up? OC, that is a massive double. 17 seconds now and Spinks just running for it. He is looking, he's aware, but Molotov the other way. And Naf is sneaking in. Does Sphinx have the timing in his brain? Does he know how close Naf is walking up behind him? He's done it time and again, and he's in another clutch. He's so close, you can almost smell it. Naf walking in, getting closer and closer every single second. Sphinx has no idea, and it's one more clutch on the board for Naf. Naf's the exact player you want in that position especially in this kind of a performance. 32 kills, and that doesn't even get close to touching the impact he's had. Keeping Liquid in the game single-handedly, 17-18. Liquid have run two in a row, one more. They force out double overtime. But shout out to this man to set it all up. The layup, the assist, the alley-oop for Naf. And with the time left, Spinks, he's just, I mean, he's doesn't it. Here we go, last round of overtime. Liquid trying to extend it, Vitality. What a battle they've had on their hands. And they've stepped it up, they really have. Side was dropping 35 kills, Dupree on 29, and Spinks and Megs. Now they've got almost the entire lineup showing. Mean, if he's not that even that far behind at 19, this is an incredible team effort for Vitality, and it shows. They just, I mean, this is another round, the last one where they had the opening kill even. Four and five again, and somehow Liquid managed to get back in. That's a couple of rounds now in overtime where it's just, you know, miracle plays coming out from Liquid to keep them in it. Can they do it one more time? Maybe if Liquid get the opening, it might be a different feel. It might be a curse. 
Both teams have struggled to close out man advantages. Elysian Nitro are going to play behind the smokes over towards Monster. Yakinder at Flower out towards Long. OC slid over. Going to be positioned, I'd imagine, at Dice Boxes. Another smoke for Monster, although Elysian Nitro are peeking it and they see nothing. Elysian might start to push this and get information. He might just challenge right through it. They try and just contact play this one, Vitality. There's a little bit to stop them. Yakinder has a smoke, which he may actually use right now. He has to use it defensively so he can yeah. actually address the other angle towards the bomb site. Yeah, he has to be yeah, aware of that. Kinda goes down Apex. Strong opening. That might be everything they need. Oh, it's looking good. OC goes down. Spinks on the spin around. And Vitality, they found a way. Nitro, nothing you could do here. They're hunting him down. Vitality is securing a fifth map in the grand final. There is nothing Nitro could do at this point in time. It took everything for Vitality to get here. And now that they're here, they're going to be able to bask in that glory. This is absolutely well played. More overtimes played and a fifth 